Hi guys, Donovan here again, and I'm going to show you the last couple of uh, moves that you're going to need in order to solve uh, Roo. So this is kind of the algorithm state. Uh, technically, Roo can be solved using only two algorithms, the soon and the jperm. Uh, but I'm going to show you the seven uh, orientation for the corner cases, because there's only seven cases that the corners can uh, be in as far as their orientation. And then two uh, permutation moves, which will adjust the corners. So this will basically be a two-step uh, tutorial for the tail end of Roo. So basically once your cube is at this point, this is where you'll use these. I'm going to start off by teaching you the sexy move, which is going to be R U R prime U prime. That's the sexy move. If I do this a total of six times, it'll resolve the cube back to its original state. Or seven and then undo a move. <laughs> okay, so that's the sexy move, R U R prime U prime. And we'll be using that a lot um, in most of these algorithms. So starting off, we're going to take care of the headlights case. So the headlights are when there's two yellows here, two yellows up on the top, if it was a car, it'd be steered around by its headlights. So you want to put the headlights over to the left, and then it's going to go, uh, the notation for it is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So F, sexy move, F prime. So here we go. F, then do sexy, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then F prime. And that solves the headlights case. Remember to put them over on the left, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So there's one. The next one we're going to do is going to be the Bruno. So in order to solve the Bruno, it's these two are yellow here. These two are also yellow over here, so there's no yellow ones on the top. And this is the Bruno case. So what you want is the headlights on the Bruno facing towards the left, and you want to be able to grip those guys here. And on this algorithm, what we're going to do is we're going to go F, sexy move twice, F prime. So here we go. F, and then sexy move twice, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime and F prime. And that solves all the yellows to the top. Um, the reason why I choose this one is because it's easier to uh, memorize these algs for people. This tutorial is really for people that uh, don't know any of these algorithms, um, just to have a little bit of ammunition to, uh, to work with to, uh, to start learning how to solve with root. So if you already know other algorithms, obviously most people use uh, this Bruno. Um, and that's that's fine. Uh, I'm just trying to show ones that are easy to uh, memorize. Um, so speaking of easy to memorize, let's do the um, the double headlights. Okay, those are orange. Make sure you can tell orange and red. Okay, so I have two yellow ones here, and my other two yellow ones are in the back over here. So there's two yellows. There's my other two yellows. Okay, so what you're going to do on this one, uh, keeping in theme with the other algorithms, we're going to go F, sexy, three times, F prime. So here we go. So with either of the sets pointing towards you, you're going to go F, and then sexy three times. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. And F prime. So pretty easy to remember these ones, and they can be executed pretty quickly. This is actually one of the uh, CMLs that I use. So there's that case. The next one that I want to cover is going to be the uh, pi case. Um, that's going to look like this. So what you have is you have two yellows on the top. There's one yellow in the back over here, and then one yellow pointing towards the left there. So basically you want the diagonal pointing towards the left with the one closest to you pointing towards the left as well. So let's set it up the wrong way. So there's my diagonal, but up, I can see them. That's the wrong way. It needs to be pointing this way, and you simply do that by a U2. So here's the algorithm for this one. You're going to go R, U2, R prime, U prime. Okay? Now you're going to do the sexy move twice. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. And then you're going to go R, U prime, R prime. And basically put this little block back where it goes. So let's see that again. R, U2, R prime, U prime. Sexy twice and then R, U, R prime. So here it is again. So pretty fast, pretty easy algorithm to uh, memorize and to complete. The next ones that we have are going to be the uh, blinkers. So the blinkers case is basically, rather than headlights over here, you actually have blinkers over here. So you want to have them on the left-hand side, and this is a pretty easy algorithm as well. So it's going to go R, U, R prime, U prime which is sexy, R, 
uh, I'm sorry, r prime, f, r, f prime. And that solves that case. If I do it twice, it sets it up. And here it is again. r, u, r prime, u prime, r prime, f, r, f prime. And that solves the blinkers case. Then the last two that we have are the soon and the anti soon. So one of them will set up the other. So I'm going to start with an anti soon so I can teach you how to solve the soon. That was an anti soon, and this is uh, setting up for a soon. So basically, when you only have one yellow one on the top, which is this one right here, point it at you. And then you're going to look in one of these two positions for a yellow sticker. And it happens to be on this side, which tells me that this is a soon. This piece needs to rotate clockwise, clockwise clockwise. So this is a soon. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. That's the soon. Let's do it again and it will set up an anti soon. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R. So now we see that we have our yellow up there. So if I were to have it basically pointing at me, then instead of my yellow being over here, now my yellow is over here. So what I want to do when I have an anti-soon is put this yellow one into this back corner, just back here. Now these pieces need to rotate counterclockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. So here's the notation for an anti-soon. R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R, U2, R. That's an anti-soon. So if I do it again, there's a soon that sets up an anti-soon. Makes sense. So you can practice those two back and forth. Pretty easy to learn. Um, so that covers the seven cases of the uh, corner orientations. Um, you have a lot of uh, a lot of room to work with since the edges are not solved yet. You can actually use uh, much better algorithms than you can use in uh, other methods because um, you can influence the edges to a solve state, whereas most people would use this Bruno. Because it preserves edges, but you get to use that Bruno because it can influence edges. So, just an example there. Um, I'll have all the notation written down for these as well so that you can go over them. Um, next, we're going to have the permutation algorithm. So, we're going to permute the corners. Um, we're going to use the J permutation and the Y permutation. So, the J permutation is this it's going to go R, U, R prime, F prime and then the sexy move, R U R prime, U prime, and then R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime. And that is a J permutation. The way that you can tell is everything on the top is oriented correctly, and then we're what we're looking for is a matching pair in this position here. There's my matching pair. So when you have that matching pair, you want to put it on the left-hand side. And basically what this information is telling me is that these two are solved in relationship to each other, and we're going to move this one to here and this one to here. So these two are basically going to flip-flop. So here's that uh, algorithm again. R, U, R prime, F prime. Then the sexy. R, U, R prime, U prime. R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime. And then you can see that it solved those pieces. The last one that we have is going to be the Y permutation. So when you have a Y permutation, you basically look at these and those don't match, those don't match, those don't match, and those don't match. So when none of your colors match, you can do a Y permutation from any position um, on the top layer. So it doesn't matter where the top layer is actually pointing. So the Y perm is going to be F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F, and then sexy move, R, U, R prime, U prime. R prime, F, R, F prime. I know that's a long one, but this is definitely a uh, very quick one to perform. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. So there it is again. It's very easy to do uh, very quickly. Okay. So I'll have the notation uh, on the video for you guys, but uh, those are the two PLL algorithms and the seven OLL algorithms that will help you solve with the Roo method. And I hope this helps you guys uh, out tremendously and you start uh, using Roo. All right, have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching.